All right, guys. So we got the emeralds. Big uh, Lake Erie emerald shiners. And um, let's put the lid on them. Take it to the next step. All right, so we just left Dollar General. And uh, we got what we need. So now, the key, hopefully this babies haven't died yet. I'm starting to die. Uh-oh. Starting to die, but not the end of the world. It's a two-step process I like to use, but first, I'm going to use some rubbing alcohol. I like the winter green color one. But it didn't look like they had it today. But 90%. And what you want to do while they're still alive is just to pour a bucket, a uh, bottle of that in there with the shiner. Because you want them to absorb that. They'll start basically drinking it and getting it into their pores and into their guts and their organs. And, um,. Then they'll die, but if they're dead, then they won't pull it in as well. See, we want to do it while they're alive. Now it's they're going to be gasping for air and moisture and everything, and they're going to pull that uh, that uh, alcohol deep into their organs and stuff. And then once they start surfacing, or they'll sink to the bottom, you know you're good. And then we'll drain all that off. And then I got another bottle and some uh, Listerine. We'll drain all this water and shit off. And then we'll just submerge them in, in um, just a bottle of uh, alcohol. So when I get to the house, I'll pour this all off of them. Get all that water out. And um, apply a second uh, bottle of uh, alcohol. This is about... $40 worth of um, emerald shiners right now and um, we just murked them some will say that was a suicide mission but they're going to work out perfect they're going to keep their uh, their color and they'll get nice and tough once we're done we gotta get home and get them off of that water. Stay tuned. All right, so we're here at the house. We got the minnows that we didn't put the um, solution on. So now we're gonna pour all this water off of them. Get a strainer ready. and dry move at least 90 percent of the moisture out of it if you get the um winter green alcohol you probably don't need to do this step i just like that um mint flavor for the uh perch just something different rather than them tasting alcohol and they bite down on your perch you know, at least taste something a little uh, more interesting I guess something that would make them double back you know <clears throat> Okay. 
double back. Soak them about five minutes and then you can go ahead and bag them up, put them in the freezer. They'll have a nice rubbery, um, stiffer texture to them, stay on the hook. They won't get all mushy and um, tear apart like most of your dead minnows do when you try to reuse them. They work well for me. And I'm a diehard perch fisherman on Lake Erie. <clears throat> Some guys like the salt brining method. I like this method. I've been doing it probably 10 years now this way. I used to salt, but this is the way I do it now. And um, they keep that shine on them and um, the perch don't seem to mind. Hope this helped you guys out. Like, share the video, and go ahead and subscribe to me on YouTube. Follow uh, Perch Sniper on Facebook and Instagram.